along with Macintosh and Greek Thompson, William Leeper is an architect that Glasgow produced who has an international reputation, uh, most specifically for his Templeton's Carpet Factory on Glasgow Green. Something that people don't appreciate perhaps, that he designed other well-known buildings of international importance. We're standing in one of them. Uh, it's now called Cotiers. Uh, it was Downhill Church and it was William Leeper's first commission as a young man, solo commission, a very important stage in his career. And the reason it's called Cotiers is because he was a close friend with Daniel Cotier, a decorator. The personality of William Leeper is something that people have remarked upon. He was a bachelor and he died without leaving any heirs, but he was known to do things like cycling. Was a, he was a great fan of cycling, of rose, cultivating roses, uh, billiards, and he ran an office which was more like an artist's studio. One thing about Leeper was the way he liked to select commissions that interested him. At one stage, giving up altogether and going to Paris to, to, to study painting and only coming back because the Tsar wanted a yacht uh, from, uh, from the Fairfield shipyard and Leeper was chosen to, to design the interior of that yacht. He, so he was very well known for not just building buildings but the interiors and the decoration, the colour schemes and, all, and the furnishings, the carpets and an example of that, the status he was, or the high regard with which he was held is the banqueting hall in the city chambers where he was in charge of organising the artists including the Glasgow boys, to create this uh, series of paintings about Glasgow. And, uh, and, and he, although he wasn't the architect for the city chambers, he did do a design. He was brought in for that important room, possibly one of the most important rooms in the building. Uh, the building has a chequered career in recent times. It fell into hard times in the 1970s and 80s really got into quite a bad state. So a lot of his decoration and Leeper's ideas were looking under threat. Fortunately, have now been largely saved and restored. We, th we feel in Cotiers we need to give Leeper more of the credit to do that. We're going to celebrate Leeper, Leeper's involvement, William Leeper, by naming the restaurant in Courtiers Leeper's Attic. Maybe after you've uh, seen some of these um, images of Leeper's work, you'll begin to realise in, in Leeper we have an architect who, who deserves to be known better. <laughs> <laughs>